Electric electricity blackouts in Senegal are driving more and more people to harness Sahelian Africa's greatest renewable resource, the sun. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has that story. Like most parts of Senegal, the central fatigue regions having near daily blackouts as higher fuel prices and growing demand overtake the government's ability to generate electricity. So the local government's turning to solar energy. Mamadou Touré is Fatigue's regional environmentalist. Before, we used fuel to produce electricity to power business. But for some time now, this is not working, and businesses and homes did not have energy. This is a huge issue for business. Before we installed solar power, we had six or more hours of power cuts. People used to wait for the power to come. But now, with small solar panels, we can make our computers and printers work during the power cut. Fatigue's solar energy project is sponsored by the government of the French province of poitou charentes Modou Job is the project's business manager. With the power cuts, we lose a lot of time, but fortunately in Africa, and particularly in Senegal, we have enough solar energy. The poitou charente region of France is helping install solar power in Fatigue to improve our use of renewable energy. Bringing solar power to rural Senegal is not only about commerce, it's also about public safety. The village of Langems never had electricity. Solar panels now power security lights. The chief Hokan and Dong says make it a safer place to live. Thieves who used to come during the night to steal from our village are not coming anymore because we have light. And Dong says people can now power their cell phones and no one's afraid to go out at night. Before we had light, older people would not leave the houses or send their children out after dark because we were afraid of being bitten by snakes. Ndong says village baptisms and weddings no longer stop at sunset, and children who used to spend hours crouched beneath flickering candles or kerosene lamps now have light for their studies. Solar light improves education in the village and, and makes life safer for everyone because children used to use kerosene lanterns that could catch huts on fire. Now they can study safely. It has really improved their lives. Expanding solar power to more villages depends on overcoming resistance from the national electricity provider, Senelec. Modu Job says it's a question of leadership. It's a political issue because if we had solar energy throughout all of Senegal, that would be competition for Senelec. So it's a very political issue. We're aiming to install solar energy everywhere in Senegal, but we cannot do it in one step. Experience shows that if we move slowly, we can go a long way with solar energy. With nearly nine months of uninterrupted sunshine every year, Job says solar energy is Senegal's most reliable and easily accessible source of electricity to power economic growth. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Langem, Senegal.